Hey guys, lots of crazy news coming in right now, of course, with Elon Musk being very vocal about many important issues that we're going to be going over in this video, as well as calls to fire Chris Hayes, uh, of all people, for some reason. Well, we're going to get into that, plus a lot more on this independent media organization that is supported by you and, you know, needs to be supported by you. Since, of course, the platform that we are on sees people who pretend to be doctors as authoritative sources while, of course, censoring and deleting other doctors that they disagree with. So, yeah, as this channel has just been fully demonetized, uh, we appreciate your support very much. And one very easy way to support us is by checking out and using the Brave browser. In my opinion, it is way better than Mozilla, Chrome. Definitely Safari has saved me an exorbitant amount of time while of course adding another protective layer of privacy and earning me some cryptocurrency and this is a totally free service there's no gotchas you will be rewarded cryptocurrencies every time you use it and if you use it for a very long time if you use my special URL I will get five bucks I think you have to use it for three months for that to happen but this is something I personally use I personally really like if you're cash strapped this will actually help you and me. Since again, this is all free and it gives you privacy and cryptos. It's a win-win for everyone. So definitely go check out the link that we have in the description below. Now, one of the biggest eye-opening drama stories today is of course surrounding the 2020 presidential election, if it still happens, not just because of the, the, the coronavirus, but with also very severe questions about Joe Biden, especially with the latest allegations made against him for inappropriately touching who who would have guessed who would have thought joe biden the the man who can't stop touching people inappropriately has been accused of touching people inappropriately ah gee whiz who would, who would have seen that coming since again there are number of documented incidences of him putting his hands on people and then making them feel very uncomfortable and now with a more serious allegation levied against him we're seeing people who report on it accurately like msnbc's own chris hayes get lynched by the leftist limousine liberal mobs out there that now there's even a hashtag on Twitter that says hashtag fire Chris Hayes and for him to get attacked because he broke party lines he did what the Me Too movement called for what Joe Biden called for himself to believe all women regardless of the circumstances um uh, is a little bit ridiculous. Chris Hayes, again, I disagree with him on many issues, but he covered a story. The story is unfavorable to the Democrats, and now people want to lynch him and get rid of his job? Are you kidding me? And of course, this entire allegation against Joe Biden is just putting complete egg on all of the people who previously supported the Me Too movement told everyone to believe all women and now are, are choosing not to do that because it might expose their gang's bigger ploy for power. And of course, not to single out the left wingers here, but of course, right wingers do this as well. And because people prioritize power over morals, virtues, the truth, and doing the right thing, this is why we can't have nice things. They say one thing and do another, which is very similar to a lot of politicians handling of the entire situation that we're dealing with right now which luckily a lot of the very severe projections have been totally wrong some projections were looking at a 3.4 mortality rate and now according to some studies and some initial data that now is 0.1 to 0.2 percent a huge difference which we're going to put into context in just a little bit but the numbers are still here significant the situation is still unpredictable so far allegedly and i say allegedly because you're we're going to get into some information here in a little bit but allegedly 60,000 people have died from this that number according to some is growing and now according to some of the models and predictions 100,000 americans will die by the end of this summer in what people are calling the first wave of this sickness and any loss of life is tragic including under projected life but now there's even a lot of questions about what is counted as an official death from this sickness as there even was a doctor on local television in minnesota that came out and talked about how he got an official 
seven-page notification from the Department of Health telling him to classify people who have died and weren't tested as, of course, people who have died from this sickness. Project Veritas also just released a video with some funeral directors coming out and saying how many people aren't even being tested but classified as a death from COVID-19. There was also talk about the lack of autopsies and how, according to one funeral director, basically every death certificate comes across as, of course, coming from COVID. Really eye-opening stuff, especially with the backdrop of information coming in that some hospitals are funded if they have more deaths linked to this, which some funeral directors theorized was happening here. And with the poor testing that has been happening previously beforehand, this is a major possibility. And I would definitely recommend you guys go check out that Project Veritas video to see it for yourselves. But overall, numbers, even though they're not as bad as projected, they are still up, especially in New York City, especially from other ailments like heart attacks, which some medical professionals are linking to this sickness. Now, the exact numbers, how they're being classified, well, all of that should be put in doubt. All of that should be questioned and thoroughly re-examined. Since again, we have a lot of data that is worth looking into, but even with the data, which according to some is overinflated. When you look at the numbers, especially the numbers that Elon Musk just tweeted out with the projections that were made on April 1st, on April 10th, to the actual data of what's going on here, you definitely have a different picture and a narrative than we've been getting. Now, is this because the virus is not as strong as previously said is the virus more widespread than we actually thought it was or is this because of the lockdown well we don't know but many people including elon musk are coming to the conclusion and advocating that the lockdown is totally nonsensical he actually had different words for that he called it fascistic and had more colorful language for, of course, the stay-at-home orders. But with these numbers coming in, many people, including Elon Musk, are asking the question, was the lockdown worth it? Especially with now a 99.85% survival rate, according to some initial studies. And the cost of that lockdown is now very severe. It's over 30 million Americans losing their jobs. It's breakdown of our food supply chain that is seeing massive waste in the billions of dollars. And of course, more predictions of economic downturn. Even though we have Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, and Donald Trump promising everything's going to be rosy. With Donald Trump even saying next year will be spectacular. And of course, I have to remind you that this was also the same president that was telling you to invest in the stock market, and there wasn't a better time to invest in it right before this sickness took a hold of the global economy. Now, it is important also to note that Donald Trump is going out of his way to make sure that the food supply chain is not broken, and he is ordering specific food workers to go back to work to make sure that the food supply chain is not disturbed. Some people are protesting him against it, while others cheer him on for it, including, of course, Elon Musk, that is even asking his own employees to return to work before the official lockdown ends, in the particular state that they are in. In this particular instant, California. And Elon Musk also had very strong words calling the stay-at-home orders fascistic and used more colorful language describing his distaste for what is happening, which he akined to forcefully imprisoning people in their homes against their constitutional rights, in which he described as breaking people's freedoms in ways that are horrible. Now, it is important to note here that Elon Musk did step up and start producing medical equipment and respirators to many hospitals, which, of course, the mainstream media attacked him for, saying that he didn't, which he even had to go on and post pictures and receipts of him actually doing it. The mainstream media still lied about it, but it is important to note here that Elon Musk did a lot more 
than uh, the average politician to help people out during these difficult times. He definitely has been on a tweet storm talking about the projections, hospitals being half empty, sharing news articles talking about how forced isolation is actually a health risk to you, not only to your mental health, but of course also your physical health. He retweeted other individuals talking about how people should have their own decision to stay home or not, and how essentially the government can't keep people home, which As we've been documenting, they can't, since many people have been breaking the stay-at-home orders, continuing on their business as usual, some even protesting, and others just clearly not listening to some of the ridiculous laws that were pushed on by certain governments. Hell, I was even doing it, to be completely honest, going on, of course nature walks and hikes and parks that the the government uh, shut down allegedly. And when Elon Musk clarifies that when he wants to reopen, he wants to reopen with care and appropriate protection and not put everyone under de facto house arrest, I have to agree with him 100%. We still don't know exactly what we're dealing with or the other long-term ramifications of this virus, the reinfection rate, the strange symptoms that keep occurring, The factors that just keep changing day to day, how fevers are no longer one of the major symptoms, how people are getting blue toes because of this. Something strange is happening that we still don't have the full picture on, but one thing that is sure is that the actions of of government have definitely not helped, especially in states like Michigan, where abusive government officials and, quote, law enforcement have took measures into their own hands and essentially abused their power over their citizenry. They created a situation where they did whatever they wanted to while telling you you couldn't do any of it, including, of course, the Obama family that went golfing while Michelle Obama urged residents of Washington, D.C. to stay home at all costs. Other politicians went and got haircuts while reprimanding others for going shopping for their basic needs. Chris Como lectured everyone on CNN about the needs to stay home and not go anywhere, as of course he was caught himself breaking quarantine when he was 100% guilty of it himself as he was confirmed to have the coronavirus. These people lecturing us on what we need to do is absolutely stupid and ridiculous and on this instant especially with opening up with care i have to 100 percent agree with elon musk and that should have been the situation from the beginning there should have been courtesy care and radical self-reliant action that didn't need government stepping in which we've been advocating from the very beginning now don't get me wrong there's still things that you should always be critical of elon musk and i definitely agree with him on one instant but i definitely disagree with him on some other things that he personally pushes he still gets a lot of government contracts and has a relationship with galen maxwell person connected with jeffrey epstein that of course there still should be some hindsight about always question someone especially when they're pictured with the pimp of jeffrey epstein get a whole bunch of government contracts someone as powerful as he is so that's my take on it what do you think of elon musk as an individual and his suggestion on opening up with care and precaution i think it's i think it's pretty the logical smart thing to do it shouldn't have had to be done in the first place The government has definitely made this situation far more worse than it had to be. This should all be a great lesson for a lot of people out there. The future is still unpredictable, but it's essentially one determined by us. Make sure your determinations are made wisely. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.